Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Ooh, Michelle is here. It is uh, a Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, August the 14th, 2024. And uh, I wanted to come on through this morning and talk to you about some things that are that I'm picking up and that's happening. And I just want to say, I just want to say this. Um, I know that a lot of people are struggling out there. I know that. And no, you know, and, and in most in most cases, people are not going to tell you that they are. You know, that's just that is just not uh, how a lot of people have developed themselves to be truthful about their their situation. And so, you know, a lot of us have put on these facades and these, um, you know, it's more ego based, ego based facades and and all of these um, these uh, factors of events that have now put them where they are. You know, so here we are facing each other at these crucial moments in our in time. And uh, I told you there's something about time. You know, there's something about time, and I'm going to keep saying that because because I I, I um, I've searched within myself for for quite a long time, and what I've done is basically you know tapped in us tapped into a certain reality about who I am, what I am, and why I am. And thus, it makes it easier to figure out what is really going on when you allow yourself to be open to that certain, that, that, that kind of, uh, because it's uncomfortable, you know, to open yourself up. And a lot of people call it being vulnerable. You know, when you suspend your ego, you get vulnerable. When you suspend your beliefs, you know, you're labeling, you know, and you, and you realize you're nothing, that makes people very, very uncomfortable, okay? And I told you to get there. Get yourself there in a, in a space where no one has to know, where you actually sit down and, and ask yourself, what have I gotten myself into, okay? A lot of people are in a spin, and they know if they come out of that spin, they're going to collapse. And then that means what? They can be exposed. They can be, you know, uh, more so vulnerable. They can be in danger. All certain factors of events can happen to someone once they come out of a spin. Okay? When I decided to come out of a spin, and this was, um, this was you know, a while ago. Yes, um, I felt the collapse. You know, I uh, felt the collapse, and it was, um, you know, it wasn't pretty because you know it was a it was a, a it was a financial collapse for me. And what I mean by that is that um, I was virtually on the on on the cups. I mean, I was almost homeless, okay, because of a series of events and, and series of decisions I made. I was almost homeless. And because of, um, so when the financial collapse happened for me, I was still operating out of ego, okay? And what I meant by that is that I did not want to share with people that I was struggling to put food on the table, okay? And this was during the time when I had investment property, okay? I had investment property. I had a great job, you know, a great paying job. But I was but there were times where I barely was able to put food on the table. Okay? So I rarely reached out to anyone to help me when when in actuality there were plenty of people that could. I just would not allow it to happen. Okay? And that's fine. You know, a lot of a lot of us have that type of uh structured about our personalities that we don't want to, uh, you know, I say I don't want to burden people and that's, and that's still true today. I will not burden people with my 
responsibilities and the things that I'm accountable for. Okay. Thankfully, I do not have kids and because that would make it even more difficult as far as making decisions and deciding what I'm going to do, how I'm going to make this happen. So when the financial collapse happened for me, yeah, I was on the verge of homelessness. Like I said, even though I had investment property, okay, which I have, I have since lost, okay, you know, in other words, I, uh, it, I was, it, it was, it's, it was taken away from me, thankfully, too. That was a, you know, so the series of events that happened in my life were um, uh, necessary and um, I wouldn't change any of it, on, honestly, because I wouldn't be where I am now in this position of where I am now, you know, where I'm grounded now in my reality now. I mean, I am just, I'm, I'm so thankful and sometimes overwhelmed with thankfulness that I was able to come out of that spin because I was in this spin just like everybody else. You know, how am I going to get rich? How am I going to accumulate all this materialism? You know, how many, how many people did I can, you know, did I can uh, have a relationship with, you know, how many, you know, in other words, you know, I was just, you know, you know, how many uh, you know, how many of this I can have, how many of that I can have, you know, ha have people uh, worshiping me and and blah, 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 blah. Just in complete delusion. <laughs> I mean, complete. But at the same time, you know, when you have that, 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 that strong ego as I had, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it takes a lot of courage to suspend your ego, a lot of courage. And after what happened um, earlier, I think it's earlier this year, uh, with someone, <clears throat> <clears throat> well, with a group of people uh, that had some wake-up calls, you know, and so, and uh, one was uh, at an age where, you know, you know, one was at a senior age, and the other one was at an age of, uh, you know, we should have been a a moment of celebration, you know, at a certain age. <clears throat> but, you know, we all, th there's always a timing to things. And, and you know, and, and age doesn't matter per se, but there is a timing. It usually is in, in the, you know, we, we were taught it's in, in, in the form of seven, you know, seven, like seven-year-old, 14-year-old, 21-year-old, blah, 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 blah. And we were told that once you get one, once you make it to forty, if you if you if you do, that's going to be uh, questionable as time goes on, you know, as 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 we move forward towards the future. Some may not even make it to forties, okay. But uh, it's after you know, and so what I so once I started developing myself and becoming the woman that I am and the woman that I love and the woman that you know that uh, wants to spread this love, you know this, and I call it universal love. I mean, it's so powerful and beautiful at the same time and intense. I mean, it's it's that it's it's what people seek. I know that I can feel it and sense it. It's just that certain reality about your life that you know there's there's this immense power there that no one can touch. That's the that's the beauty of it. No one can touch it. Okay, it belongs to you. You know, it's that spark of energy. It is it, it, so intense and so it is words cannot describe it at all. So I'm not going to attempt to do so. So when I, so my point is, my development was, uh, it was messy. You know, a lot of people are using that word now. You know, you know how we like to gravitate towards words. And to some points, these these words are losing a lot of value. I think the majority of the words that a lot of people are using have lost value and become commercialized. I've said that. But I can sense and receive very well that a lot of people are struggling. And that is just 
that is just an innate ability that's available to all of us. You know, I told you it's intuition, it's, it's uh, 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 instincts, it's this or that and the other. And the word, like I said, don't be told, focus on the words because the words can, can trap you and, and cause you to stagnate. That's why you need to be very aware of the words you're using and make sure they resonate with you. So when I started, like I said, when, once I finally came out of the spin, I was in the spin, 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 a spin cycle. And once I came out of it, that's when I realized what freedom is, what universal love is, you know, what love is, uh, the intimacy of love, you know. And, man, I, I was just so excited about sharing that because you, you would want to. You would want to share that because it's so beautiful and powerful. But then we were taught, you know, because I wanted to go jump on the rooftop and say, hey, you know. But we were taught that you, that I, that I am not allowed to be interfering in anyone's development. All I can do is encourage you and guide you. But interfering, no. That, that harms the person you're attempting to help when you interfere. And that's a metaphor as well, you know. And and so during, like I said, during my development, which is going to be ongoing forever, it doesn't stop. Uh, there's going to be a lot of revelations, you know. And again, I'm still saddened because I know I can't help everybody, and no one can help everybody. That's a uh, that's delusion and illusionary, and that's uh, that can be fatal for me, you know, fatal for me if I attempt to go out and think I can help everybody. That's that that's a fatalist uh, uh, thinking. So all I can do is just uh, help when I can, and be there for people when I can. But for the most part, I am going to be more so witnessing and sitting back observing and monitoring things. I cannot believe that I am responsible for billions of people, millions of people in their development. That's an individual choice and it's free will as well. So I just want to send out some encouraging words to those of you that will collapse. Some of you, you know it. You know you're going to collapse. You know you're going, you know that the facade is going to be revealed. And you know that there's a chance that, you know, you may be um, unreachable. And I mean that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So just know that, um, you know, this is, this is just where we are. This is the cause and effect. This is what we're reaping. We're reaping what we've sown. And so many of you, and you know this, and you don't have to share this, you know that you were given warnings, like a tap on the shoulder. Okay, and, or, and then, you know, it started out as a tap. Hey, hey, this is going to come back to haunt you. It's going to come back to haunt you, and you and you just disregarded it. Oh, nah, nah. And that's what, that was your ego doing that for you anyway. You were just, you, the, 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 the genuine actual you or I was just complacent and just standing back there and allowing your ego to run the show so now it's all coming back you know it does you know that boomerang you know that boomerang and the energy of the boomerang gets more and more intense as it's returning back you know you throw out something but once it comes back because it does it comes back with intense force so I am saddened uh, I, I can sense that a lot of people are going to be homeless and a lot of them are going to attempt to disappear in the fabric of their lives. 
it is going to con- attempt to disappear. But but you but that person also knows that you know you can't hide. You can run, but you can't hide. You know, eventually, you know, uh, your behaviors and actions are going to catch up to you. A lot of people know that. So. I, like I said, I want to offer some words of encouragement to let you know that uh, for me to say everything's going to be okay is a lie. I have no idea how things are going to turn out for a lot of people. And I say, I say for billions of people, actually. We've allowed ourselves to get so heavily and suffocatingly uh, saturated with materialism. We, we are... We are having trouble breathing when when people won't admit it. We're having trouble. All of us are having trouble sleeping. Okay, unless you can uh, incorporate certain uh, techniques and stuff that I that I that I constantly use, and it and it's helpful for me. I I've shared it with people, you know, as to how they can. But you know, everything is free will. You know, a lot of people are not going to be using. Uh, the things that can help them until, you know, it's almost too late. And a lot of it has, you know, the metaphor is, you know, somebody gives you some medication to take and they tell you that this medication is going to help you, but you decide not to take the medication. But then for some reason one day you wake up and decide you want to take that medication and you realize that it has expired. It will no longer work for you. Okay. And that's happening with a lot of us. We, we're walking around with expired um, material. And that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. It's expired and it can cause more harm than good if you take it. You know? So I'm going to say this again about thinking. Um, you know, I was uh, having a conversation with some people about things in life, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're at this stage where people are really, really immersed in conversation, you know, because a lot of them are starting to, to recognize something is, something is going on here. Something's going on here, and, and, and it has been for decades upon decades. But again, just like the evolution of your consciousness, you have to evolve, your, you know, that involves involving your hearing, involving your vision, involving what you're sensing and receiving. All of that plays a factor in that. Okay, and a, a lot of people. And this person says something which which is a which was a good uh, it was a good uh, comment. Why is there? Why do you have to make things a philosophy? You know, why why are you philosophizing everything? And that's and that's a that's a genuine good um, question because. Um, when it become, when, so what I've what I'm understanding about thinking and proper thinking is first of all it's no longer business as usual. We were not taught to think clearly and effectively. Okay, that ought to be clear and effective for a lot of people, and I think I and I and I recognize that, and that's why that's why I know and I feel so good about what I'm doing. It resonates. Okay, people may not admit that they are resonating with someone. Or resonating with someone's post or resonating with someone's video and they don't have to no one has to know that that about you that's for you okay when you, when it comes to thinking though however or your thoughts however to properly think requires all of your sensing it requires some abstract objective subjective it requires theories and opinion. You know, it requires you to go outside of your comfort zone when you're thinking. And every and, and it ought to be easily replaced with a metaphor or something figuratively. Okay, that's that's the process of properly thinking. You have to be it has to be timeless where it's true now and it'll be true a million years from now. That's what truth is. Okay? And so your thoughts help to generate that truth if you apply all of those principles and concepts. It's not easy, of course not. But this is the, these are the fact these are the factors that were 
intentionally taken away from us. These, these type of faculties as to how to think properly and how to manifest properly. You know, a lot of people use that word. And tap into a certain level of your innate abilities to where you are connected to, the, to, to, a, to a source that created you. And that bothers people when they realize that they can't necessarily tap into that easily. Yes, you can go through third parties, but you don't need a third party. But hey, you can go through them. And, but they, they know no more than you. And a lot of people are figuring that out. A lot of people are figuring out there's nothing but smoke and mirrors that they have been deceived, they have been intentionally lied to. And that bothers a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be despondent. A lot of people are going to be depressed. A lot of people are going to be experiencing a whole lot of physical turmoil. And I just say to you, just be gentle and kind with yourself. It happened to all of us. But you can't skip over developing. You cannot. You know, you cannot bestow yourself as something that you're not. You cannot fool your consciousness. And all you're going to do is cause harm to yourself. And sometimes that harm is um, irreparable, you know. It's, you know, and so that means you're gonna have to go back through some deja vu, deja vu, for a par, you know, for more years than you needed to, and for more lifetimes as well. Okay, so there's a lot going on. I sense and receive it. Again, I know a lot of people are in a spin, and they cannot get out. Because, well, they can get out. It's a free choice and a free will to get out, but they know they're going to collapse. And they know that they're not going to be able to run to the people who say that they're going to be there to, to catch them. They know that. Okay, whether it's a family member, a friend, a lover, or a partner. Because those individuals are going to have to be trying to catch, catch, their, catch themselves and save themselves. Okay, and survive. So, a lot of things are going to be coming forward intensely for a lot of people. Um, you know, not only floods and earthquakes. I mean, it's going to be the whole, the, you know, the whole thing. You know, I think, you know, with the fires and floods and earthquakes, I think the flooding is going to cause. I think flooding causes the most damage to people because, like I said, you don't, you can't see it. I mean, you can't see the, the you know, once it. Once it clears, you don't see the damage that it has left behind until you start investigating and wondering, okay, what's going on with my foundation here? You know, because flooding can be hidden. You know, the damages of flooding can be hidden. hidden. But, you know, but with the earthquake, fire, you know, that's visibly obvious. So, and um, so I am just going to reach out to those that resonate with me. And I know there's plenty of you that do, and I appreciate that, you know, because I also know that I have to provide for myself um, and, and as well offer assistance. And that's just, that's just the way it is. You offer assistance to people, but you allow people to resonate to you, and they will. I'll put out what I can help you, what I can help you with. You make the choice whether you want to accept that help or not. Is free will. Okay, I'm not going to put you in a spin. I want to get you out of the spin. Okay, I want to save you from spinning for, for decades upon decades upon decades. Because as long as you stay in that spin, that's all you're going to do. You're just going to be deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. And then before you know it, you're going to be at an age where, okay, it, it, it's coming to your final hours as that material individual. And then you're just going to have to move on, pass that baton to the next personality. And and if you're not taking care of yourself properly, all you're doing is delaying, you know, delaying your um, development and, and, you know, it does your evolution. You know, you're kind of interfering with it. So you're just making things di more difficult than they have to be, right? So I know I resonate. I know if you take the time to just sit back and relax while I while you listen to me, you'll pick up something that may help you. 
You know, you're not supposed to understand everything I'm talking about. I don't understand it. Not, I mean, our teachers, that's not what teachers do. Teachers put the information out for you, but they allow you to cultivate it and figure it out on your own. A good teacher knows that you can. And as a teacher, as a helper, as a friend, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to help as well and do what I can to help people. But for the most part, I know I'm just going to have to watch. And I can't, and, you know, and I won't be able to interfere at all. Um, because it will cause more harm than good, actually. So I'm here for those of you that want to reach out to me. But I'm going to be very honest with you as well. If I if I if I recognize that I cannot help you, I'm going to make I'm going to make that known, okay, and just save you, save your your time, because it is about time, and it's about timing. But that doesn't make sense right now, and and I wouldn't be concerned about it. Sometimes you just have to move on, and you know, I'm not going to put you in a spin. In other words, I'm not going to. Uh, attempt to, um, what's that word, uh, you know, put you in a Ponzi scheme or pyramid scheme, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to allow you to, you know, to decide for yourself because, I mean, because I can know, I know right away what I can do for people. I really do. And I feel okay about that. I don't have no issues uh, rejecting people and I have no issues being rejected. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Um, again, be kind and gentle with yourself. There's some intense energy coming forward and we'll be experiencing whether it's weather related, people related, environment related, whatever it, is, whatever it turns out to be. Um, some people are going to be forced to collapse because you didn't recognize when to come out of the spin. You kept manipulating the situation, deceiving the, the, the situation, you know, working with things you know were unsuccessful and um, not reproducible. So, so here we are facing each other. So, I'm going again. I'm going to and send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. At the end of the day, it's about universal love, and it starts with you. Okay, trust me. I will be back.